This video is sponsored by Raycon. Hey, you know that I'm always on the go. For instance, I have to go to the bathroom and back constantly. Do you know what's the best thing to bring with me whenever I go? My Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Are you listening to Game Grumps? Or perhaps your favorite music and podcasts? Sometimes. Other times I listen to my bathroom coaching podcast. Nobody can smell. This is just you and the porcelain. Recon Everyday Earbuds are great. They have over 10,000 five-star reviews online, so it's not just me saying that. And they come with me everywhere. I can listen at any time with eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. That is a lot of time walking to the bathroom and in the bathroom. And anywhere else. Yes, it is. Plus, Raycon earbuds have noise isolation if it gets too loud in there, and awareness mode if I need to hear what's going on outside. That rules. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash gamegrumps to get 20% off your Raycon purchase, plus free shipping. All right. Thank goodness. I got to go. A lot of battery life to waste on this thing. Waste time by gamegrumps. Look at this picture of a man f***ing his briefcase. <laughs> Look at this picture of a Mickey Mouse cosplayer <laughs> f***ing his briefcase. What is this? This wooden box under the body. As you can see, Dr. Eggman is going to town on it. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello and welcome back to Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, The Crappening. The Crappening. Let's uh, present... Some oh. shit to this boy. Okay. Who is Mustache Man? Is that her dead That's, dad? Yeah, uh, dead man. Okay. He does look a little bit like Eggman. If Eggman was a good guy. A little bit? Yeah. He's just like... Mm. He has kind eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting. <laughs> it is interesting that they like gave him an actual mouth. I always feel like when animes draw these kinds of characters, they just like They're draw just the mustache. mustache. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Um, all right. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Uh, nobody says that. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It makes them hot. She, he's hot. Okay, okay. It's not just his attitude. It's also his chest that makes him hot. I've got proof, pal. <laughs> Sorry, did I get you with that one? <laughs> you know, you understand me. <laughs> Bro, have you seen this guy's titties? They're out all the time. They're like blow. <laughs> I know, right? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. A goofy fucking dumpy ass hat. Yeah, like if he was in Alice in Wonderland or some shit. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. So Max uh. uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his sin signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. That must have hit a nerve. <laughs> that's what he said. It's that's what she said. Who said? The eyewitness. Uh. Tell us about the eyewitness. I guess uh, I'll have to ask okay. about it by hitting talk and then saying the witness. Got it. Um, so what about the eyewitness? Ho, ho, ho. You know I'm not going to tell you about that. But it's Santa Claus. <laughs> That's the prostitution's trump card. Prosecution. <laughs> Whoops. A little bit of a Freudian slip there. And who is this prostitute you speak of? <laughs> Santa Claus. What is their number? <laughs> One. It's the first telephone number at the very top of the North Pole. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell? Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. <laughs> Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. What did I say about bars? In fact, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I'll fucking go to the circus entrance. And... Wait, I can go to Moe's room. Or huh. will he not let me? Nope. I'm in Moe's room. Yep. The fuck is Moe? I wonder whose room this is. It's Moe's room. <laughs> the name tag on the door says Moe on it. I guess he's not here. Well, it's real messing here. 
My room is probably worse, though. More clown outfits in my room. <laughs> but they're all covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give up. I'll have to come back later. Well, maybe I'll examine his little shoes. Awesome! My Look God. at these shoes! That is such a funny bit. What? Someone comes over to your house for the first time and you just like leave your closet open slightly where a like a bloody clown suit is like obvious and then you're like, oh, and then just close the door real fast. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So how tell me about your job. So this is the kitchen. <laughs> awesome. Look at these shoes. They're great. Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are for people slipping on it. God damn it! <laughs> Why, uh, <laughs> Why don't you ever pay attention? All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. And that ass, it's popping. <laughs> it must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. You can display it in our office. Our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. Damn, sister. Look at that fucking dumpy, though, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's not even in it. Sheesh. <laughs> Mo it seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns Good night, moon. <laughs> <laughs> Clowns for dummies. The joke's on you. Treat your peons right. And the classic funny jokes are funny. Wow. Mo is very studious. Student of the craft. Got a lot of got a lot of beginner books for being a circus clown. The joke's on you, huh? TV, poster, carrots. What the fuck is with the carrots? <laughs> How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's using them for some sort of gag. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tee clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, an axe. Even, even, <laughs> yeah, a bloody axe. <laughs> A note that says, I killed the ringmaster. <laughs> He's even got a trampoline. <laughs> trampoline. But none of this is any important. Any important. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy. Maybe that's part of the gag. A unicycle, a tightrope, a baseball bat with what appears to be brains on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Looks like someone punched a hole in it. Oh, uh, you know when you get mad and you punch the ceiling? <laughs> yeah. you jump he, 10 feet in the air. He was working on his shore, you can. You're right. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Hmm. I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. I don't know. He sleeps and goes and fucking watches TV. Yeah, slips on banana peels. Where's his big dog feet? <laughs> Let's go to the circus entrance. Oh, this is again. Entrance is right here. You can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> no. Uh, no. The big circus door. Yeah, it's Max. Fuck you. <laughs> Max is cool. All right. Yeah. Go to the big top. Damn fucking. What the fuck? the circus entrance. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Aaron, are you using a walkthrough? No. Why okay. would I want the game to progress in a natural form <laughs> instead of getting lost for 30 minutes and everyone getting mad at me? Why would I want that? I don't know. When you put it that way, it really... Uh... Those streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. They're all for Max. <laughs> Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. You know... You don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? Oh, those were the days. <laughs> You're not on Twitch very much! <laughs> You're right, I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using the dude a little kids climbing up to the top. You don't know how accurate that is, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think that was why. These little bastards are pulling in 10 million a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, I went to law school and all I do is get yelled at. <laughs> uh, have I gotten everything here? Have I got everything here? 
I think so. is not a word. Uh, all right. It's supposedly something activates once I move back to the circus entrance. Hmm. But nope. Wow. Thank God this walkthrough prevented us from getting lost and yelled at. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Uh, big top. And then circus entrance. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Talk to Regina. Okay. Good stuff, Aaron. S sorry. It's, this stuff is fucking obtuse, man. I understand. You have, like, so much shit that you can just, like, present to people. Whoops. Shut up. You want to show her the hat? Shut up. No, I don't want to show her the hat. I okay. want to show her fucking dad. Okay. After practice was over, dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went up to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. He was murdered. <laughs> the ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself on account of it's the room that belongs to the murdered. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of Max? It's Max! Hey, who is Max now, anyways? You don't know? He's no. dead. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. Oh, that's nice. Cool. It's okay! Nick and I will help him! Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? Ice cream. Giggle. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so now I think I can move. Oh, wait, maybe she's, does she have something else to say? Fucking... Yeah, what's on your mind? Hmm. Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? Come on, spill the tea! <laughs> Giggle, I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Because I might I... die. And if I die, I'll become a ghost. And then I would be Regina Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, <laughs> mumble, mumble. What? Really? And then, mumble, mumble. Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. p p p p p p p p professed their love. Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I'll kill her. <laughs> I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyway. And then, on the exact same day, another person professor left for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Apparently he is a tenor who sings in the circus. Guilty. Hmm. I haven't met him yet. But she just seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. Maybe it's the fucking sparkles. <laughs> You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. Everyone can, like, you keep it together, please. Jesus like, Christ. It's Try a murder to scene. Solve a murder. Uh, wow, what a hottie with a body. <laughs> like, guys. Uh, all right. Ringmaster's room. This is the ringmaster's room. Yes. The room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Ma Max, Max, which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what, hmm, that's an interesting poster. His daughter is so cute. I agree. Me too. What did we tell you? Oh yeah, how her dad's skull fragments are <laughs> scattered around the fucking circus at the moment. Oh. So tough for her. <laughs> She's so cute. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a poster of Max. I want it. I want it. Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. <laughs> oh, my, wow, wow. It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, uh, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Holy fuck! <laughs> what is it? I didn't know that a magician. His salary is incredible. She looks like she's about to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Uh, that much? Incredible, huh? You could say that again. I didn't want to date this game by writing the actual number. Yeah. <laughs> this must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But the only raising that I'm getting is suspicions. Oh, good segue, Aaron. But this document is dated a week ago. You got an enormous raise one week ago. 
Okay, so huh. why would he want to kill the guy that just gave him a raise? Seems odd, doesn't it? More bananas. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. That was sarcasm. This one says it is all 100% natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. A mime? The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual. I have not heard the word metrosexual in like 15 <laughs> years. It's fucking weird. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. Okay, you don't have to be a fucking dick about it. A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? The coat pocket. Calm down, Maya. <laughs> you can't just go rummaging through people's coats. You'll find what's in their pocket. Ah, <laughs> uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You are. It's a wonder why you like me. You're rustling through a dead man's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. Same. There's a really big photo on this desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. The rying master. <laughs> he really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Yeah, seems like she really appreciated him. Yeah. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Oh, he's dead? I guess he is dead, isn't he? Uh, wow, that's crazy. What was it, like 20 hours ago? Huh. <laughs> Just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association, mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce champ, pet grooming grand prix. Wow. wow, he really padded the stats with these trophies. <laughs> yeah. The ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could never have imagined. World's best fake trophy? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, you're supposed to be the honest ones around here. <laughs> you didn't even notice that one I took. But I took one. Oh, she already swiped one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Actually, promo poster. And All posters. Right. Other posters. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. As opposed to what? Posters is the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine tingling legal action, mind numbing legalese. You will say wow. Or perhaps hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning leg for death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people died. <laughs> Fucking come on. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. It seems like there were so many happy memories. And do you think they'll all fit in my bag? <laughs> Maybe we should do this sort of thing in our office. We can put all pictures of we can put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? We'll put that in your office. <laughs> uh, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Wow, nice. Nick, now you got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? I sure am a charmer, aren't I? <laughs> All these frames look the same. They almost look like... It's just like the writing just goes down to like... Wow, look at all these pictures on the wall. Shut the fuck up, Maya. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, Nick, you always make me feel so bad. They almost look like thank you cards. Looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. To the Robot Clown Research Center. Robot Clown. You're kidding, right? What? They may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Oh my god. Nick? <laughs> this is this is pretty weird so far. Calm the fuck down, Nick. Calm the fuck down. There's something there, the table, I think. Was it? Oh. Yeah. This was the table he used when visitors came to see him. Ew! There's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyway? What were they talking about? Was he going to eat it? I don't know. What the fuck? the hell were they talking about? That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it's always possible it made perfect sense and we're the idiots, but yeah. I don't know. Very big circus. Circus entrance. Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Guilty. <laughs> Am I in the wrong genre? <laughs> Hello? Well, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me! What? Huh, huh, m me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. Strong chin Sammy. <laughs> With a big batai. <laughs> An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. The b, -b murder <laughs> He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that and be looking around all fucking suspicious-like. Have you fucking checked a mirror, Phoenix? <laughs> I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I, um, I just happen to be, um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. No, I'm an herbivore. <laughs> I'm a performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Oh, he looks like a dummy. That's why. Mm. Yeah. Ventriloquist. Hey, I'm Benjamin Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? Fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Never heard that one before. Thanks. But everyone calls me B -b 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 Ben. Ah, uh, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. All right, let's talk to the fucking puppet boy. Excuse me, Ben. God damn it. <laughs> uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder, I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really, I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know, uh... This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up, just try and smile! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactical. Yes, I'm pregnant <laughs> with Max. Remember that TikTok? Oh yeah. yeah. Max is in my goofy uterus. Anyway, M -m Max. <laughs> he he's not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Oh, ow, my head hurts. Yikes! I hope he's okay. It sounds like he just popped a gasket. Okay, so this guy has motive to frame Max Galactica. Or maybe it's just a dude with a stutter. I don't know. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? I'm just a regular guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him! You can't do that! I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I... right now, my p uh, uh, I, 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 why? why? Uh, he's contagious! Uh, okay... I don't know what to do. I mean, I'll... I want to like, talk more about fucking this guy. Uh, would you mind asking, taking a look at this? Um, uh... I... I, uh, I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Alright, um, what does this guy need? What does this guy want? He's fucking- This guy sucks. Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Hmm. So Regina's only 16. I don't think they'd have a murderer that's 16 in this game. You don't think so? I don't think so. Well, I mean, they might. I don't know. I don't know, man. They, they, what, they fucking did Maggie killed Burns and Simpsons. That's a different show and thing. Kablamo! Oh. God. <laughs> <sighs> Congratulations! You have a big wiener! <laughs> Give him a fucking Sterling Holloway ass yeah. voice. The one millionth visit of the room of Mr. Mo! Curls! AKA me! Oh, Mo Curls. Yeah. I get it. Multiple Stooges. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, yes. Yeah. That, that's what I... Anyway. Multiple Stooges. <laughs> earplugs must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one? Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> what? I don't... Um... No? I welched on giving you more than one. Okay. Oh, welched. Yeah. 
Okay. Perhaps something was lost in the translation there. No, if it was funny, it's your duty as a human being to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Lansing. Catch my drift? Oh my god, what the fuck are you You're gonna kill me in Michigan? Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> uh, Maya? <laughs> this is like some Faustian nightmare. Couldn't agree more. Come on, it was funny! Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. Oh, damn. You sure are a fucking asshole, mister! <laughs> you sure don't have great taste in clothes, girly! Look at that gob! You look just like Greta Gob! Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't! You know, I could excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to! Hold it! <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit, he's kind of funny. Uh, no, I do not have to admit that. I do that. not admit this, Sam, I am. Isn't. <laughs> Laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Laughter. Alright, let's fucking chat with this bad boy. Could you please tell us more about the Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story. You sure you got that kind of time? And he and the hits just keep on coming. <sighs> this circus has been in business for 20 years. We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. But, but, I love this circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Nick, he just made a joke! Laugh! Har har The ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care for. Wow. And a never-ending list of blowjobs for him. <laughs> he was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? What happened? Mo. <laughs> Mo. Wiggity, 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 what? <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How could you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah, yes. Let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tucking out, so I came back here. I can't believe we're gonna have to fucking examine a clown's testimony in the courtroom. <laughs> After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime! Just as we suspected, this guy's the eyewitness to the crime! The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He died young. He would always add new elements to the show. <laughs> <laughs> he was early on dying. Yes. When you've been a performer for a long time, your act started to get a little bit stale. Huh. I realized that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Oh no, annoying clown with carrot hanging in front of his face? That shit's timeless. <laughs> Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, uh, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth? But that make-believer takes things too far! Make-believer! The magician. The one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep. He got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Go ahead. Nope, no way! Just forget I said anything. Oh, for fuck's sake, Mo! I bet he's still hiding something about Max. You say you saw the crime, do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm gonna just have to let these lips say zips. That's not fair! I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make with you funny! Stiff lips? I'll have you know these DSLs are soft as pillows. Wait, do you mean me? Wait, really? <laughs> Nick, you could do it! <laughs> yeah. Pillows, you say? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's the matter? Just go. Just getting ready. Okay, do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. Oh. At least his.
his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try. So I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like hand on his shoulder. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw. Oh. Ah, a man with a tapas. <laughs> without question, without a doubt, it was the ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> that magician. He killed Dr. Eggman! <laughs> That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. So I'm going to ask him more about Max. I really don't like the feeling of a clown waving an accusatory finger at me. Yeah. <laughs> if he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. Mo! Sorry, I crossed the line, but he's truly a disgusting human being. I hate all the characters in this yeah. episode. <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? I mean, not Maya and Phoenix, obviously. Mm. Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. More terrible than a murder? <laughs> Max clonked Ben right over the head, as hard as he could. Who's Ben? Oh, that guy. Ben, the ventriloquist with the speech impediment? Is that why his head is that shape? <laughs> you should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting in there. I don't <laughs> know what the fuck you're referencing. J John Gotti, the mob guy? Oh, okay. Is that, I mean, is that what he's referencing? I, I guess. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. The very big circus is very, very big, isn't it? Boy, that's tough to say. You should always carry a map with you to get around. Okay. No, oh, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. Another great joke from this carrot-headed lunatic. <laughs> Aha! Yeah. Oh, I kill myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Circus map. <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta go to the... Um... The... Um... <laughs> um... Cafeteria. I guess I don't hate Regina, but it's it is just like yeah, my dad's dead. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not like the most cool trait. Yeah. Yeah, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it that Mo said? He said a lot of things, dude. He said that <laughs> yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head over there. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting here. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Oh. Well, let's check this fucking place out. This is strange. There's nothing on top of this stand. Look here! Max is written on it! It must be his VIP table! It's beautiful. It isn't a bit small... Isn't a bit small to be a VIP table? Yes. You won't be putting a 10-course <laughs> meal on this. Nope. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? Yeah, I'm sure he eats hamburgers. <laughs> Keep our cafeteria clean! Doesn't seem like anyone ever read this sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die! Okay. Well, that would definitely make them clean it up. I mean, maybe they did say that, and that's why he's yeah. dead. Maybe this is, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, bulletin board for, um, bulletins. Doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted here. Boring! Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy tidbit? <laughs> someone was murdered hours ago. Yeah! Like a juicy tidbit! <laughs> juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Hmm, maybe something like, message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. Being a stupid detective. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. That fucking idiot Gumshoe. <laughs> Maya's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys talking about? <laughs> yeah. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. You know another detective Gumshoe? One that's an idiot? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> oh, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. Mm, broken bottles just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? No, I don't. No. <laughs> There's got to be something interesting here. Is Gotti the name of the wine? Huh? Uh, looks like we're going to go back and meet with him. Him? <laughs> Gotta check the other tables, though. All the fucking music's gone. Yeah. It looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder, I'm assuming. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm. Look at all these dishes is making me hungry. <laughs> Looking at all these dishes with slimy, gelatinous old food on them. <laughs> Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case. Isn't everything closed? Yeah. <sighs> All right, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Where's the mute button when you need it? Oh, There's man. There's too many fucking details in this room. The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at taking a little duty on the list. You know what I'm saying? Aaron, pull it together. <sighs> Buy us two hamburger. <laughs> You'd try it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would. What was that? Oh. Ah. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears repeating. But this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. These conversations that we have, they're so interesting and cool. <laughs> You know, I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. We gotta clean this place up. It's dirty. We need some non sequiturs here to shake up these conversations. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Do you remember? I can't remember what playthrough it was. It might have been a long time ago. But we were talking about not not the a way out one, but like a guy in a movie where he's like a vigilante and he keeps killing people, but. He, he doesn't, like, nail the line after he kills someone. Like, I think the example was, like, he he beats someone to death with a stick, so he should, like, the camera zooms in on him, and he should say something like, stick around, but what he actually says is, like, it's poopies, you, you, look, you smell like poopies. <laughs> <laughs> Do, you, <laughs> Do you remember what that was from? No. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'm, that's clipped, though. I'm sure someone will put it in the comments. Yeah, because it's like that's that's like a proper bit, and I think we went on for yes, a minute or two. Yes, it does. Uh, ugh. <laughs> As I slowly turn into a puttering old man, just reminiscing about <laughs> stupid shit we said ten years ago, it's uh, it's the best. <laughs> remember when we used to be funny? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that actually. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing on the lambada. Um, I, I think that's enough advice for now. <laughs> These fucking face. You motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. What? I, the Can game you shank to, him with the bottle, please? The game told me to fucking present this to... What? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I have to go to Max Galactica and talk to him. Oh, okay. you silly goose. I thought the game was being very clear about let's talk to Mo, but... Boy, this would take a long time if you had just had to trial and error your way through, like, every item to every person. Yeah. December 28th, detention center, where that asshole lives. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. Did he just call me his sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderful e fan tab you loso. I mean fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. Here's, Here's a broken a bottle. <laughs> yeah. What about this? Fabulous. You'd like me to sign this for you? <sighs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, jeez. I guess I just talked to him. Oh, yeah, there's no oh, shit. Okay. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. 
Everyone fucking hates you. Circus Max? Isn't that like a... Isn't that a store? Isn't that like Party City or something? Whoa. Sounds like it. Alright. Ah, you must be from the dinosaurs? How were those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? I rule! Yes, yes, yes. Sweetie, that's what they call jealousy. Spelled out jealousy. <laughs> they are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm, so Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. That's not good. He's- she's truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool! It's already in the works! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's strange, Regina never said anything about actually marrying this joker. What happened? Well, when my father left at age six, no, no, I mean, uh, God damn it! You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice, I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Yeah, like you can barely hear him through the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm talking to a walrus. It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's all right. I'll be right back. I should only take about ten minutes. Is your coat strong enough to absorb a blow to the head? And then... I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had ta- he definitely got there eventually. <laughs> the snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. <laughs> and me without a shirt. <laughs> okay. Alright. I guess that's all we can talk to him about. Okay, great. Uh, oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright. Let's fucking get into this dude's heart. <laughs> what are you doing? Clang. Ow, my heart. <laughs> Beating with retro. <laughs> Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six month old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Hmm. Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Um, I mean... Sure. Yeah, you got an enormous raise. Yeah. Th that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. <laughs> Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F f fab fabulous. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the truth. Oh, nope, still douchey guy. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem? Uh, Max... Perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, not if I don't have to. You're going to fucking jail, dude! <laughs> <coughs> this isn't- isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room last night? To um, share a broken bottle of orange juice? Okay, I guess so. Take that! This- isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? Cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> Fucking got him. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max. What is it, my sweetie? I'm trying to defend you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to... Um... Bonk him on the head? Oh, yes, bonk Ben on the head, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Take that! 
B ben. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? <laughs> and that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! He was trying to spank you. For being all bad. You've bad. broken down the walls to my icy redneck heart. <laughs> well, one day. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run. -in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? It's a Ventriloquist. You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. Such now a when he's talking through that asshole puppet. <laughs> <laughs> we fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Oh, that's Trillo, because he's a ventriloquist. Oh. Uh, yeah, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. <laughs> Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his head hard, hard head, hard head. <laughs> That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized it was my chance to kill the ringmaster. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie and no one else's. Oh, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Well, let's- let's go into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, hold it! <laughs> um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trillo can't say a word, unless it's Trillo. Oh, Trillo is his puppet. The puppet, yes. Trillo can't say a word, not without Ben. Trillo? The puppet. The ventriloquist's puppet. His real name is Triloquist. <laughs> ben Triloquist. <laughs> Aaron! Aaron has his head in his hands. No, it's good. <laughs> but a puppet doesn't talk. I know. That's why I hit it. That's fucked up, dude. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. What the hell are you- what? Oh, because he's made of wood. Yeah. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie. You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, I mean, yes. Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous. That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. Not at all. Thank you, Max. I love you. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. No, you're in the jam. <laughs> you're wanted for murder. Then don't go hiding puppets. Fucking... Uh, Good lord. Jesus. Alright, next time on Game Grabs. This guy. We're gonna unfold more of this ridiculous shit. Th this is, even by Phoenix Wright standards, this is like a cut above or a step below. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two.